Welcome back. So today we're going to be learning about triggers and how to interact with them and use them up. The first one we're going to be doing is an enter and exit trigger, which allows us to uh, do something while we move in and out of it. The next is fixing the interactor so it handles different items. And the last thing is an interact mechanic, which allows us to interact with the world itself. So without further ado, let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is create two classes, both of them being a component base. We're going to have an initialization, so it's a component in world space. We're going to have three parameters, a door, the open position and close position. And then we're also going to have functions which allow us to activate the triggers. Then for the second one, we're going to actually take it as an inheritance and then we're going to override the initial function. And then we're also going to add one more node and we're going to add a function that's public. And then we're also going to overwrite one of the triggers that we have. Lastly, we're going to have a Boolean that checks if it's open or not. And that's basically the two functions classes. In the world, you can see that what we did was we first added walls that are immovable, which allows us to also have a collision that our character doesn't phase through. The next thing we also did was we created two types of physical triggers in our case, the blue box you see here, and it allows us to check whether a physical object goes in and it has the classes. As you can see, the door opener class, which inherited, has the previous three node objects or parameters, and it also has that button node in the bottom. Then, finally, we also have the buttons and we have the doors inside here. The last thing we also did was in our button, we added a new database item. And what we did was we gave it a new property, called it a trigger. And we added it in our item type inside our property parameter. We also added that inside our database controller, which we added a new enum called trigger so we can call upon it on code. So in terms of functions, the first thing we did was we initialized the triggers and we set them up to be uh, basically a uh, enter and a leave. The enter opens the door and the leave closes the door. So this is the automatic trigger that we assign to the first door. As for the second one, which inherited from this, we're going to override its initializing and its entering and its open door as a new function. The initialize will only initialize one trigger callback, which is the enter. As for the enter, it's only going to open door and the open door checks with a boolean, switches the boolean and then opens and closes the door whenever we call the open door function. The reason why it's public is we're going to be using it in Interactor, which where we go right now, we had a little changes. The first change is we changed the value. So if the object is a default, we're going to just call its name and amount. If it's an ammo item, or if it's a weapon, it's ammo, and if it's a trigger, it just says interact. And if it's a trigger in detection, we do not delete it, we just open the door or call the function that we wanted. And you can see over here, as we go in and out of the box, the trigger zone, the interaction works. And for items, everything works exactly as intended. All right, this was a short and sweet tutorial, and I guess that will be it from here i will see you guys next time and yeah goodbye <laughs>